Hello? Go ahead, yeah. guys, ask your questions. Hey, Dylan, uh, congrats on the win today. Uh, when you walked out on the mound today onto the field, did you think you were going to go nine complete innings? Oh, that's my mindset every time. I mean, every time I step on a mound, I'm trying to go CG. Um, so, obviously, I did that today um, to put our team in a better spot for tomorrow. Hey, Dylan, how fired up are you guys after Hammy's home run there in the seventh? <laughs> Man, that was a big boost right there for the team. Um, I feel like today we didn't bring it all the way, but when, you know, he hit that home run, it put a spark in us. So let's go ahead and finish this thing and go out strong. We didn't want this to be our last game. And moving forward, you know, we need to play better earlier in the game. So we won't have to worry about the late end of the game. Dylan, was there ever a, a point before uh, that hammy home run where, where you felt like maybe you – uh, weren't going to get the decision out of this one, or maybe you were going to be taken out before you, you were able to to get that win, or were you confident that you were going to keep pitching until you guys uh, got the lead and, of course, the complete game? Oh, yeah, no, I was going to keep pitching no matter what. Um, my job is to go out there and pitch as long as I can and give my team a chance to win, and that's what I did. Anything else, guys? Uh, really quickly, um, you know, yesterday was kind of a disappointing performance on the mound for the three pitchers there. And then, of course, today was one of the best performances of the season by, by, by you. Um, how do you, uh, how do you, and especially with two different teams, how do you scout that and try to improve from day to day, especially when your backs are against the wall and you guys, you know, have to win every game um, for the rest of the regional? Yeah, every day is different. Um, your mindset has to change, you know. When we go out tomorrow, we're not worried about what just happened in the past. Today's a new day. You got to move on and Go dominate that day. All good? I think we're good, Alex. Thank you so much, Dylan. Appreciate it. Well, Thank you. I'll come in here in a minute. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not sure why I needed to come in here. I mean, you already talked to Dylan. That's the story of the game. Um, you know, really excited to, to get our program's first regional win in, in quite some time. And, um, you know, Dylan was just awesome, just just amazing, complete game, no walks, uh, gave up one run, which, um, you know, probably could have made, made a play uh, there in the first to keep that from happening and was just outstanding. You know, he commanded his fastball uh, through both of his breaking balls and his split change for strike. And um, he was just, he was amazing. I can't say enough about him. And, um, you know, obviously Hammond got the, the big hit there, uh, you know, to, um, to give us the two runs. So just glad to get the win and glad we get to keep playing for another day. Coach, what are the conversations like between you and the, the pitching coach and, and everyone else in the dugout as you're kind of making decisions uh, in between uh, the run being called off and the Hammonder home run when it relates to Dylan Smith and whether or not he's going to continue pitching or if you're going to go to the bullpen? You know, Coach Jackson, he's he's like the head coach of our pitching staff, and I, I certainly give him feedback of what I think and what I see from a you know a hitter's perspective. Field but, IMG College um, presentation of the Crimson yeah, Tide give, Sports Network. Uh, I really try to stay out of his way, you know, and just kind of give him some feedback. But today, the the thing with Dylan is, um, you know, Dylan has kind of shown this throughout the year. A lot of times, you know, he gets better as the game goes on, and I always keep a close eye on you know, how they're commanding the ball and, and their velocity. And, you know, that usually you see a loss in command before you see a change in the stuff. And and Dylan just continued to locate all of his pitches and the, the velo never dropped. So I was very comfortable uh, whether we scored or not. You know, we had Chase playing catch if, if we got into a, a pinch. But uh, really, quite honestly, never really thought about going to the bullpen. Was, was really confident, Dylan. I thought he looked great and um, was going to kind of trust our eyes with uh, sticking with him. Hey, Coach Bo, uh, you mentioned Hammy getting that home run, and then too, the, on the broadcast, they kind of showed you firing up the guys in between innings, uh, trying to get the offense going. Just what was the excitement after that home run? You know, kind of seeing the offense, you know, bust forth, kind of, um, you know, go, get a big inning there, and then too, uh, Will's uh, Will's catch to start the eighth inning there, the diving one in right field. It's kind of crazy how sometimes offense and defense work together, and. 
You know, it's no secret we haven't been great offensively. Um, not sure at any point this year, but especially the last three or four weeks. And, uh, you know, I, I don't think we brought the right uh, mentality offensively uh, to the play the first half of the game and um, really just challenged our guys, you know, like, hey, you lose a day, the season's over, show me some fight. You know, these kids have showed a lot of fight this year. And um, I, I kind of felt like the first two or three innings that, that uh, Ryder was more excited to play today than we were. Maybe they just had more to cheer for. But, um, and I, I shared that in layman's terms to, to our team and, uh, you know, happy that we were able to, to do enough. But we've got to get, we've got to get some more hits and we've got to get more efficient. You get second, third, nobody outs, you got to score. Um, and, and, you know, you got to get more than six or seven hits a game, at, you know, to put up some crooked numbers. So, um, you know, those are areas that, that we've got to get better at and we'll, you know, continue to address in the future. So what was your view of that interference play? And obviously that, that kept it pretty tight the rest of the way. I, I didn't get a good look at it, but, um, just talking to to our staff, it sounds like it was kind of a, a you know pretty clear you know the right call. So, um, you know those, those are that's tough on a base runner. You know you as soon as the ball's put in play, you want to run as hard as you can, and you know you have to give the defender a, a clear opportunity and path to the baseball. And uh, sounds like Drew didn't do that. I, I didn't get a good look, but by talking to everybody, I think they got the call right. All good. Uh, Coach, how big was it uh, with uh, Smith going nine innings to be able to save Lee, Green, all those guys in the bullpen another day as you guys try to keep the season alive again tomorrow? It's huge, James. And, you know, we just kept telling the kids, hey, just win the first inning. Just, you know, but uh, it's my job as a coach. And I got to be thinking, uh, you know, have a plan B for your plan B. And uh, I was thinking about it. Absolutely. So, you know, we got a tall task trying to win three games the next two days. And the, the message to the kids will be, um, let's just play as hard as we can uh, and try to win that first inning, the first game tomorrow. But uh, with that being said, I mean, you, you go into the game tomorrow and everybody's available except for Dylan and Tyler Ross. So those are obviously, you know, two of our really good arms, but I feel like we've got several good options for tomorrow and Jacob McNary will start that first game. And I don't have any doubt that he'll give us a great start and, um, you know, feel good about what we've got in the pen. Um, anything else, guys? All right. Have a good night. Talk to you tomorrow.